satisfy your need for happiness through your own curiosity with the Ranveer Show. I have so many questions about this Korean skin care thing. <laughs> What's the hype? Yeah. <laughs> Why is there so much yeah. hype about Korean skin care? Yeah, because you look at the Koreans and you think I will get that glass skin. Not happening. That's ethnic. Okay. It is not their ten-step regime which led to that. They are like that. I think there is an urban legend that Korean skin care is thirty years ahead of uh, the rest of the world. Yeah. Okay. In short, they, no. they they shout so many things there because that has happened, mm. and they're so interested in skin care. You go to I forget the names of the streets. So I travel so much, but there's one street in Korea. like it's like how you would sell let's say uh, peanuts on the road if you go to a highway they're selling facial masks like yeah, that yeah i've been i've been there yeah hmm. it's like i'm like what is this tons of facial sheet masks so uh, it's it's what is hyped in which country yeah i want to talk a little bit about korea because actually korean culture is very very popular now okay. with gen z's and of gen course. alphas especially yeah. <laughs> um i really enjoyed what korea is culturally when i was there You know how some people travel to have food experiences, yeah. or some people travel to see things. I travel for human beings. Yeah. I go to see human stories. Yeah. I felt everyone there was stressed out, yeah. and apparently yeah. Korea has one of the highest rates of career-related suicides. Really? Yeah. There's a wow. term I forgot what it's called, but it's it's in both Japan and Korea. It's suicide as a result of overworking. Not that they haven't achieved the career goal. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I think it's death as a result of overworking. I can't remember the exact word, but I it's an actual know. cultural thing there. How scary. Um. So my point is, uh, generally the experience of going there, I love the country. I admired the the hard work of the people, but it's too much stress, and that got me thinking that hmm, is that the reason the skincare industry has flourished so much. because they view life and aging also in the with the same stress, stress that they view and the gusto yeah uh, can you just like google that uh, death because of aging thing what is the scourge of south korea stress and suicide in korean society suicide is everywhere says south korean author young ha kim uh 13th largest economy suicide is the fourth most common cause of death in south korea on an average 40 people commit suicide every day south korea has the highest suicide rate among oecd uh organization for economic cooperation matlab and development probably developed countries which include germany uk and japan it's the I mean, only oecd country whose suicide rates have increased since the 1990s for years social scientists have puzzled over why this economically successful state has such startlingly high suicide rates that's all i wanted to pull up like from this hmm. and i want to actually tie it into being that concerned with how you look in society which which is yeah. there in our society also ki kya kiya hai life mein aapne yeah. you know what have you done in your career but also how do you look yeah. the projection of yourself yeah you need to look successful yeah which honestly on a very primal level which is not on a primal level on a very modern level i would tie to what we spoke about the last time the people being that concerned about acne problems yeah. or in today's case aging yeah. related problems yeah. it is such a stressful it thing is. for Same people think it's very stressful so while korea has given these gifts of like skin care we also need to highlight yeah. the flip side of the coin yeah. taking nothing away from the greatness of right. that country there's a lot yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. look up to and yeah. respect that country for but this is the flip side of yeah. caring so much about skin yeah um do you want to actually just so people understand it better ma'am right before the episode started we were talking about how people from the media industry especially which is actors mm. models influencers anyone on the screen mm. are so concerned about the way they look where it reaches a point where it severely affects their mental health yeah and also i want to say tell everyone that don't believe how they look at 40 is how they actually look like we meet them we know there's so much clean up going on clean up means as in post production not one post they will let out mm. without having clean so you are thinking oh i am at 40 looking so horrible look at her she is looking so beautiful and you are getting stressed and sad and upset about it and then you are running from one doctor to the other doctor to say i want to do this if she can look why can't i look mm. i'm like no mm. for there are so many people when some people come and say look at her she is looking like this why can't i look at 40 and i'm like one i know she comes to my clinic mm. i know it This is not how exactly she looks. There are lines on her face. There are some freckles on her face, or there are some pigmentation patches on her face. 
the photo that you are seeing today is made makeup lighting you know going back to how let's say i was looking in the last show right we lit in a certain way we didn't care because we were thinking it's a science podcast how does it matter i got feedback from my people in the media saying you've lit from the top therefore every defect of yours was highlighted i also want to highlight that we do podcasts every profession it's only the actors models and influencers who highlight lighting as an issue they are very wow. particular about it no other no other profession business army no one cares yeah. but the moment you're a media person you're very aware of these things because and it's very fair yeah your your profession job, is about looking good and pleasing people and yeah. making them feel happy at that moment yeah so to me i want to tell all those 40 odd 50ish people who are sitting and thinking if she can look like that why can't i look like that she whoever it is is not exactly looking like how you are looking at it in the picture hmm there is she and then there is all of us assisting her to look a certain way plus even with the best of us assisting them they are not looking exactly what you seeing in the photo there is lighting there is makeup there is whole load of touch up clean up post the picture is taken there's photoshop and now ai tools that yeah i can like people will end up coming and tell me oh but photoshop they can do on photo how are they doing airport looks and everything is cleaned up even that is cleaned up yeah um so e- even to the degree now where if we see films like uh it's very obvious to notice where shahrukh khan skin has been changed. youngified yeah okay yeah. or ranbir kapoor skin and yeah. i think it's very fair and normal because you're trying to project craft. a younger character yeah if you enjoyed today's clip make sure you check out these curated playlists that we've made especially for you related to the subject that was spoken about in this clip